Hi everyone, my name is Becca and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time with us, I'm so glad that you are here. We focus on all things middle grade literature, specifically the first chapters of your favorite middle grade novels. Today we are going to be reading a piece of historical fiction, Operation Happy, which is a World War II story of courage, resilience, and an unbreakable bond which I suppose may be between this girl and her pup here. This book is written by Jenny L. Walsh, and I'm super excited to share the first chapter with you. We're gonna start by reading the front and side cover, which will give us a little bit of an idea what this novel is going to be about. The moving story of a girl, her dog, and the list that saved them. By 1940, Jody has lived many places thanks to her dad's military job. But when he is assigned to a naval base in Pearl Harbor, it feels like a different kind of adventure. From the new culture to being able to run barefoot and lounge in the pool, Jody doesn't think she'll have trouble creating a top 10 list of her favorite things about her new home, especially with her dog Happy by her side. But it's becoming clear Happy is slowing down. On top of that, mom worries about the island and wants to leave, which makes Jody wonder if their little paradise isn't as safe from the war as she thought. To cope, Jody begins a new list called Operation Happy, activities she and Happy can do together to distract her from things like air raid drills and her mother's first aid practice. Then Pearl Harbor is attacked. In the aftermath, everything changes, and when Dad needs to stay behind after the family is evacuated, Jody becomes the leader of her family. However, there's nothing easy about that task, especially when her mom becomes depressed. With Happy's help, Jody comes up with a plan that could keep everyone safe. But will this new operation, Happy, be enough? All right. We're going to dive right on in. Part one is titled Island Girl and chapter one is titled Wish List. And this is dated Christmas 1938. A dog is at the top of my wish list. I unwrap number three, a Monopoly board game. Then I pluck number five from under the Christmas tree, a Shirley Temple doll, and number two, a Nancy Drew book. But number one is still very much missing. Mom asks my older sister, are you happy, Peggy? Very, Peggy says, as she should be. She got her number one, a makeup set. And how about you, Jody? I nod quickly, like the good soldier I am. I'm a Marine, inducted at birth because of dad being a commanding officer. And I'm not unhappy. I got a lot of things checked off my wish list, but a dog. I've been aching for a dog. Big and shaggy, I want that dog to take up so much room on my bed, there will barely be a sliver left for me. And when that bed becomes a bed in a new house, and then a different bed after that, going to sleep will always feel the same after I close my eyes because he will be there. Or she, I don't care what my dog is, only that I get one. Dad stands from his armchair and quietly slips from the room. I gather the wrapping paper strewn about our living room. Mom's eyes flick to the doorway. Mine do too. Dad appears. In his hand is a leash. That leech leash stretches behind him. Attached to that leech is something big and fluffy with a red bow the exact same shade as dad's robe. I gasp. Peggy squeals. I give her a quick glare. She didn't put a dog on her list. His name is Happy, dad says. Yeah, it is. This dog looks nothing short of Happy his tail wagging so hard I'm surprised his feet stay on the ground. 
I jump to, I jump to a stand so fast my glasses nearly fall off my face. Careful now, Dad says. Happy was a sentry dog for a base, but his eyesight's going. He's been more or less a mascot for some time now. Approach him slowly so he can see the shape of you. I do, saying, hello, Happy, my name's Jody. And by the time I reach him, he's taking steps toward me too. And I swear, that dog is smiling like no dog I've ever seen before. That was the end of chapter one, short and sweet. I am tempted to read that second chapter to you, but should I? We'll stop there. I'll leave it up to you to go ahead and read that second chapter. This is Operation Happy by Jenny L. Walsh. If you enjoyed this first chapter Friday read aloud, please consider liking and subscribing so you can be notified every time we have a new video out. I say we like there's a bunch of me. Every time I have a new video out, and um, until next time, everyone, happy reading.